the dead hang. What we're gonna need for equipment is gonna be a chin up bar and a small box. We'll stand up on our, on our small box and open our hands just past shoulder width. Now, before we go into the full dead hang, we wanna see if the shoulders can support all the body weight. So, the first thing we do is, we're just gonna squat a little bit and let our shoulders accept some of that body weight. If we feel comfortable in this position and we feel like we can hold more weight, we're gonna go into the full dead hang. This looks like so. So here I just relax and let my shoulders stretch. I don't try to, to muscle through it, if anything. The only thing that's working right now is my grip. Okay, I can feel a little bit of pressure in my shoulders, maybe a little pressure in my lower back because everything just seems to open up. Okay, if this is too uncomfortable, maybe I feel a pinch in the top of my shoulders or my shoulders just don't feel great in this position, we can ease into it and just squat into this box for time. If you still have that pinch in your shoulder, one solution may be we might open our grip and that might alleviate the shoulder joint just so we don't get that pinch feeling. If we still have the pinch in the shoulder, that's a sign that we have impingement and it's not a good idea for us to force through that range of motion, but we do have another option. If we have the pinching sensation in the top of our shoulder during the dead hang, we have another option using a suspension trainer. So with the suspension trainer, we're just gonna reduce the range of motion. When we're in the dead hang, our shoulder joint looks like this. Using the suspension trainer, we're gonna, we can modify it so our shoulders only go here, and we can still get the stretch, but without going into the impingement zone. So, it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna grab my, my handle, uh, two hands, and I'm gonna go into deep squatting, letting my hands go overhead. So, this is our position. I can sit in this position and just try to breathe. I'm trying to bring my rib cage down as I exhale and take nice long breaths to the stomach and to the rib. Okay? Once I hold that and I feel really comfortable, I can have other options. I can either walk in towards the in towards the anchor or I can do some rotations at the shoulder joint. I like starting people with the rotations first because that really lets us own that range of motion. So I'm thinking of rotating from the, the upper arm, not from the wrist and not from the elbow. So it's gonna look like this. 